Hello. In this time, we will create an effect that generates particles by referring to the position and color values of the texture. First, create a Niagara system after adding fountain emitter. Remove the currently unnecessary modules as shown in the video. Next, to generate many particles, set sim target to GPU and properties and set local space and bound scale. Next, to refer to the UV of the sample texture, create a variable in vector 2D form and parameters, and set the created variable to particle spawn. And set the UV range using the random range vector 2D filter. Next, select the new scratch pad module to create a scratch module. Then create a vector 2D variable to get the UV range and map get. And create a float variable to set the size of the texture. Next, press M on the keyboard and click to create a multiply node. Break the vector 2D variable and then recombine it as a position. Then, we can set the area of the texture by multiplying it with a float. Next, we create a vector variable to adjust the center of the particle's position. Then create an add node and add the position and vector variables to make the particle position adjustable. Finally, after creating the position variable in the map set, Connect the position to the add node to finally set the particle positions. After clicking the apply button, click the dismiss issue button to ignore the errors that appear. Next, set the parameters set in particle spawn to particle UV and set the rest of the values as shown in the video to make a plain shape. Now go back to the level and place the Niagara created so far in the level, and you can see that particles are randomly generated in the form of a plane. Increase the value in spawn rate to generate a large amount of particles. Then, in Initialize Particle, adjust the lifetime and sprite size of the particles. Next, create a sample texture in Particle Update. Then, set the desired texture. And apply the particle UV variable created earlier to the UV value of the sample texture to load the UV information. A sampled color variable appears now while the sample texture module was created. Change the RGB of the scale color to linear color and apply the sampled color variable to the linear color to match the color of the particles with the color of the texture. Finally, remove the curve set in scale alpha and keep it at 1 to prevent the particles from slowly disappearing. Now, if you save and look at the Niagara placed in the level, you can see that the particles are located exactly as they are on the specified texture. Thank you.